Hello everyone, what is the best secondary in Warframe in 2023? Well, you might be saying, well, of course, what other weapon would it be other than the Latum or perhaps the Epita and or Kuva Nucor? Maybe it is the Ordinary Brack. We will never know. Well, in today's video, I have an interesting weapon and a kit gun weapon at that, which is extremely good at deleting those pesky acolytes off of the map inside of Steel Path missions and also the trash units as well. If you want to find out what that weapon is, stick with the video. I'm your lovely host, The Gaming Weasel, and let's get straight into this. So, the kit gun of choice is my Pew Pew Splat kit gun. A lot of people have been asking me, well, here you go. Now you can find out what this weapon is. The parts can be obtained from Father, that is going to be the chamber, which is Spore Laser, and the Loader and Grip are obtained from Rude Zud on Fortuna, of course, the Splat and Hay Maker, respectively. Now, you might be asking, well, sounds pretty cool. Let's, uh, you know, talk about the stats. First of all, amazing critical chance and multiplier. 35% critical chance and 3.3 times multiplier, really, really good, like, mm, so good. And the status is sadly 13%, but don't worry about that, we'll get that a little bit up. Of course, it does have a radial attack, which is, of course, the main and the only firing mode of this weapon, which does impact the damage as well, and it does toxin as its base damage type. So, really, really good. It does have fall off so keep that in mind but we're gonna you know try to go around that plus you're gonna be kissing enemies you're gonna be that close so you're not really worried about fall off so honestly for now this weapon seems incredibly incredibly good now in the gameplay you might be saying that uh, you know fighting against 190 level corrupted heavy gunners and it's doing a pretty decent job at deleting them considering i am using secondary merciless of course which does need to build up now the build, let's quickly show you that. The build is plain and simple. We are going with corrosive and fire instead of viral and fire, and I'll tell you why in just a second. We do have auger packed, galvanized diffusion, primed target cracker and pistol gambit, heated charge, lethal torrent, and of course pistol pestilence and jolt. We do have packs charge and secondary merciless in our arcane slots. Keep in mind, you do have the guild kit gun, same as with Zaws, so you can equip the extra arcane and lethal momentum just for that extra projectile speed. Now, this weapon is really, really good. That's why we're using Corrosive, because Corrosive reduces enemy armor. What do Acolytes have? They have armor. If you're using, for example, in Seal Path of Warframe that reduces the enemy armor, this weapon is still incredibly amazing, but this weapon I prefer to use with Warframes that don't have armor stripping abilities, such as Revenant that I'm using in the background. Now, Quick little thing, Revenant made for power strength, and I do have Roar instead of its fourth ability, so keep that in mind. The pet is Panzer Wolpophila, viral damage, so you have all that cleared up. So, Corrosive reduces enemy armor, Heat reduces enemy armor, enemy armor definitely doesn't disappear 100%, but you do reduce it by a decent sum. Of course, now... This weapon doesn't have an ammo capacity, it basically has 11 shots and it recharges its bullets. That's why Pax charges here, so it reduces it by 50%. That is extremely good. Creeping Bullseye is incredibly good, and if you want that extra critical chance, put it on instead of Prime Pistol Gambit. I just prefer the fire rate and having that fire rate instead of that critical chance. This weapon can be paired with many, many different Warframes. If you, for example, pair it with either Zephyr, with her Tornadoes, Oh yes, that is going to be extremely good. Or, for example, Hero, if anybody still plays Hero, you can definitely use him with that as well. Uh, on the Warframe itself, I have Arcane Fury and uh, Molt Augmented, so they don't influence the weapon itself. Now, as you saw there, I did have Roar Active, or you might see it in just a little bit. I destroyed that Acolyte in literally two to three shots. So, this is a definitely the Acolyte Destroyer. Now, I'm not saying this is much, much better than the Latum, Keep that in mind. I do love the Latum. This weapon just doesn't require setup, and it's an AoE weapon. You can clear up rooms without any issues. The Latum is extremely, extremely good. You do need to charge up the Incarnate form, and the damage of it, of course, incredible. But this weapon is my go to secondary for Steel Path missions. If I want to go in, and no hassle free, just go and play Steel Path, this is going to be my weapon of a choice for my secondary at least, if nothing else. So, the Spore Laser Kit Gun, my Pew Pew Splat, now you guys know what that weapon is, and now 
you should definitely try it out. If you're not going to use any other kit guns, at least use this one. It is going to be extremely, extremely good. I have been the Gaming Weasel. Hope you guys enjoyed. Do leave a like, a comment, and do subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys on the next one. This has been the Gaming Weasel, over and out.